Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of Eve University, and this is episode two of the Bloodstained Stars. Uh, for the record, today is Tuesday, March the 6th, 2018. I've recently switched uh, video production methods, um, starting to use video, new video recording software that will allow me to record multiple segments one after the other without having to necessarily uh, proceed with the next step of production. So, uh, as opposed to when I've recorded this series in times past, where I necessarily needed to wait until later the day in the day or the next day to proceed with recording the next episode, I'm going to see if I can record all the remaining episodes in a single day, or two days. Which means I'm not going to have as much lead time for actual skill training stuff. And I do know in advance that for the final step of uh, the Bloodstained Stars, I'm going to need to put out lots of explosive damage. So, before I actually leave Arnon and proceed to Harrogat, um, first of all, I'm still going to be using my hybrid turrets for a while, so I'm going to stop by... Oh, uh, first of all, I should mention... In Escape Menu, General Settings tab, ex left-hand panel, Experimental Features, I've turned off Try the New Map. I'm going to use the old map since it's easier for me to work with. Uh, so, World Map Control Panel, Dodixie... Dodixie is a major is one of uh, a major trade hub in Eve Online. Not as big as Jita or Amar, but still big. Um, Federation Navy Assembly Plant. I will set that as a destination because I want to pick up more ammunition for the guns I currently have. Uh, next, Harrogate. Show info on that. Uh, definitely, I want to stop by right the Federal Navy Academy, because I'm going to pick up a new skill book. I'm a Galente character. I don't have uh, projectile turrets, so it's going to be projectile turrets I'm going to be using. Um, but basically, having done this before, I know in advance that the final boss of this chain uh, is weakest to explosive damage first and foremost, and second to kinetic. It's a little bit of a problem for blasters and railguns, which do mostly kinetic thermal damage. So, yeah, I'm going to want to be either be able to use missiles, which I can just load only explosive missiles, or switch to projectile turrets, so I can load an explosive type of ammunition. So I'm just thinking ahead in that regard. What I will now do is actually talk to Sister Altura, uh, right-click, Add waypoint uh, and accept the mission. Close. Uh, this is my current fitting. It's still salvager fit. I'm bringing my weapons and remaining hybrid charges with me and the damage control. I believe I have everything, so I'm going to undock. Um, I'm going to skip through most of the warping and jumping on my way there. Uh, but just be aware, while I'm in Dodixie, I'm going to buy more antimatter charges, just so that I don't run out. And additionally, in Federal Navy Academy, I will buy a copy of the small projectile turret skillbook. Okay. But with all that being said, I'm not going to waste your time. I believe you, uh, if you've been watching How to Survive Eve Online, and uh, then you already know how to perform those steps. So let's skip ahead. I've skipped ahead to where I have docked in Herodot 5, Moon 1, Priodron Factory. Uh, I forgot to mention, for the record, here is the uh, latest history of skills that I that this character has been training recently. Uh, most recent dates on the bottom, currently. With any of these columns, you can left-click that column to sort by that column, left-click again to reverse the sort. So yeah, these are the most recent skills at the bottom, or I can put the most recent skills at the top. Uh, I've rearranged my training queue, uh, so I've got three levels of small projectile turret, so those will train over the next several hours. And at the start of How to Survive EVE Online, uh, the 
what I did and the advice that I gave you was to not use all of your unallocated skill points right away. I'm certainly liking that decision now because what I may do is when I get around to episode 7 is dump all of those unallocated skill points into small projectile turrets and maybe um, shore up uh, light drone operation a bit. Because I get the feeling I'm going to need it. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, next order of business. Uh, left click, shift left click. I don't want to drop the ammo. Open the fitting window. And you know what? As long as I'm at the fitting window, let me do something here. Why am I forgetting how to save my own fit? Here we go. So I clicked on this wrench icon. Uh, save as... Salvaging Catalyst. Expand that. Save. Alright. Now I'm going to remove all the module, all the, all the high slots. One of the low slots. Alright. Damage control. Put my guns on there. Uh, group all weapons. There we go. That's convenient. Drag in the antimatter charges. Alright. Now I'm all set. You want to talk to the Epic Archagent. Delphine Zeracie. Uh, retrieve the corrupted drone components and return them to your agent. And that will be here in Herergate. So studying the scene, encounter dead space, warp to location. Warp drive active. Or if you have this section expanded, this also works. Let's skip ahead. Uh, I don't know why I bothered skipping. It was a very short warp. Uh, all right. Make sure I read the details again. Uh, corrupted drone. Approach that. I've turned on the micro warp drive. I'm going to open cargo. Turn off the micro warp drive, and I don't want to overshoot. Control spacebar. Loot all. Done. Alright. Right click. Dock. You can shoot these rogue drones if you want to. Uh, it's going to come out to about a little less than 20,000 isk in bounties. Got to save that as a safe spot. There we go. Close enough. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right. Complete the mission. Request the next mission. Uh. Deliver the antibiotics to the Colonial sl Supply Depot. Uh, this is something you'll need to remember to put this in your cargo hold. So drag the antibiotics into your cargo hold and undock. And this will also be here in Herergate. Assistance encounter dead space warp to location. Warp drive active. Alright, there's the Colonial Supply Depot. If for some reason you don't see it, uh, it should be a mission container. So, if you need to put it in your overview settings through the overview settings window, that's what it's called. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Mission. Uh, here we go. So, it's under Entity, so Mission Container. This should be just a straightforward drop something off, so... 
By the way, as a general reminder, uh, native English speakers may find that I am perfectly understandable, even if the YouTube video player is set to double speed. You can find that option right now in the lower right corner of this window of of this video. Drop in the antibiotics. Uh, I will just save this as a safe spot, and that should be done. Doc. Warp drive active. And let's skip ahead. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right. Talk to the agent. Complete mission. Request mission. Uh, clear the area of Serpentis Pirates and ambush the personnel transport. Layer of the snakes. Warp to location. Warp drive active. Alright, dropping out of warp. I believe I'm actually required to kill everything here. By the way, um, I did get the targeting management skill up to... I think it was level 2 or 3. I'll double check in a moment. So I can target lock more than 4 things now. So how many things you can target lock is limited by a couple of things, um, uh, by a couple of factors, rather. Um, your skill in target management and advanced target management, and the electronics limit on your ship. Uh, sorry, trying to multitask here. So left click in the background, Alt F to open the fitting window, move that out of the way, F1 to keep firing. F1 to keep firing. I have to hit F1 every time I want to start shooting a new target. Uh, so the electronics limit will be under the targeting section. Maximum lock targets, 7. So that's the electronic limit that the catalyst is capable of. So just because it's a catalyst, it cannot target lock more than seven things at once. This limit will be different for each ship, and there are a couple of different module types um, that can expand this limit further. Uh, I believe these are for the low slots backup sensor clusters, I think. I gotta double check that. And for high slots, uh, auto-targeting systems. But I don't often use those. I don't think most players use those sorts of modules. So usually, that'll be your ship base limit. The skill base limit is two targets, plus your level in target management, plus your level in advanced target management. Right click Rex, save location. Double left click over there, just for a little bit, and stop. <clears throat> I also have to keep in mind, um, keeping an eye on the angular velocity, so I don't want these to go any higher than 0.15, if I remember correctly. No, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I want to keep these below 0.127. Well, I want to keep frigates below 0.127. This Corellum Chief Scout is probably three times bigger, so I probably want to keep him below 0.36 something. Oh, the situation. All right. Yeah, the missions filter is useless. Way too many uh, large collable structures here.
All right, there's Serp Serpentis personnel transport about 54 kilometers away. And it disappears. I'm just going to loot one of the wrecks. It's not important. You can head back to the station now at this point. Uh, all right, layer of the snakes, docking station. Drive active. I already saved one of these wrecks as a bookmark, so I can work back here uh, after I finish recording to salvage everything. Docking permission requested. And I'm a little more than 250 meters, accepted. so pulse the micro warp drive. There we go. Drop off the loot. I don't use plutonium charges. I could if I wanted to, but there's not a whole lot of plutonium charges here. Um, let's request the next mission. Retrieve the Creo drawn data core from destroyed ship. Bring it to Agent Delphine. So let's accept that and close. And I'm not forgetting anything. I'm going to undock. Data retrieval, warp to location. Warp drive active. And while I was warping back to station, um, small projectile turret level one, tr uh, finished training. All right. There's the destroyed ship. I forgot to reload my guns. Now I'll turn on the micro warp drive. Turn off the micro warp drive. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can... I want to see if I can skip these, just theoretically. It's possible to blitz some missions, where you just go in, get the objective, and then get out. Loot all, yes. And yeah, that's a blue check mark, so I can leave right now if I want to. Um, but just for the hell of it, let me rip up a couple of these um, Angel Cartel. Gisty Impaler, Gisty Hunter, Gisty Ruffian. Now I'm actually starting to take armor damage. But yeah, you can run in, grab the thing, and just warp out to station. Uh, oh, right, multiple waves. If you want to kill all the waves, you can. Um, I'm not going to waste your time. Warp drive active. I'm only going to pulse the micro warp drive once. Just so I open up a little more distance. But trying to align is slower while you have prop module running. Uh, just keep that in mind. Um, because while you have a micro warp drive or afterburner turned on, uh, it reduces your agility, and that means it takes you more time to change your velocity from 0 to 75%. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright, and the next step 
is to go to Hadakani, uh, which is pretty close by. Uh, it is, well, sort of close by. It's seven jumps away. That concludes the second chapter of the Sisters of Eve level one epic arc, The Bloodstained Stars. Uh, when I start the next episode, I will already be in Hadakani. I will have already salvaged everything, and I will already be in Hat uh, Hadakani. Uh, I will go ahead and accept that mission now. Close. And you know what? Uh, the reason I had you save fittings... Let's open up the fitting window here. Uh, let me go to the Neocom menu. Hold on. Let me unload my guns. Uh, fitting management. Uh, oh, I only have the one fit for the destroyer. Let me save this fit real quick. Save as Catalyst. No, Combat Catalyst. Save. There. Now in the Fitting Management window, I can click on Salvaging Catalyst. Click Fit. Boom. Now I'm going to head out and salvage. Alright, that concludes this episode. Thank you for watching.